Hello there, Capricorn. Well, this is your career and finance reading for November 2022. So let's get right into it. What do you need to know about your career or business? What do you need to know? Let's see. We have... Ooh, Page of Swords. Someone's watching you, keeping an eye on you. Maybe, you know, this could be a headhunter, a recruiter. You know, checking you out, liking what you do. Here, let's get a charm. We'll see more into this, what this is. Okay, we have a monkey. That's someone's monkeying around. <laughs> we'll see what that means. I don't know what that means. That would, uh, that maybe someone's fooling around. Someone could also be interesting romantically. I'm really trying to keep these focus on career and finance, but that doesn't always stay that way. Okay, here they see you as someone that really stands out. You're a go-getter. You may either used to other people monkeying around or something like that. So with this queen of, of wands here, this is your very independent. You're a way shower. Getting a lot of attention. You also could be representative of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So let me get another charm here. And we have the cat. Okay, independence, balance, psychic nice okay and then we have oh the king of wands right next to wow okay maybe this also could be i don't know if you're the queen or the king but one one of you could be watching the other you could both be watching each other it could be a spying uh going on here we have queen and king of wands that's amazing okay so now let's see okay someone's cutting something out here with the king of wands now the king of wands is um a mentor um, very motivational, very experienced. This could be your boss or you could be the boss here, whichever way it goes, but someone might be cutting something out here. All right, and then we do have the two ones making a decision here. Okay, so this is fusion of ideas maybe, or you guys be, could be coming in, you're on the same page, you could become partners. Okay, so now let's see. Let's clarify. Why do we have the page of swords here? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Why do we have that here? The Queen of Wands again. Wow, look at that. Okay, so it looks like, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like you the Queen of Wands could be watching. Or this could be, yeah, it could be either way. No, it really can't. So let's get another one. It might be a different Queen of Wands. might be another Queen of Wands. Let's see what we have here. We have, okay, this is um an even flow. The fish represent a spiritual soul connection, harmonious. So yeah, I think there's a there's a strong connection coming in here. Okay, if it hasn't already um, formed. Let's see, why do we have this other Queen of Wands here? Eight of Pentacles, yeah, this is definitely a work situation. So you might be working with someone that you know, there's a very strong connection or you're about to work with someone or someone comes into your work who's interested in you. Ace, oh yeah, there's a strong love connection, whether you're in it already or about to go into it. You might meet this person through work. You might work with them. Okay, and then we do we have the Five of Swords. There's other people around that don't like this too much. They might be causing some kind of drama here. You know, it's like um, this also could be you're in a situation where there's poor leadership or bullying behavior, um, workplace conflict. But I think this is more about people not liking this connection forming. When it does, oh, somebody over here. Sorry, that was a bat from last reading. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. What, what are, um, what do you need to do to move forward? That's what it is. What do you need to do to move forward? We have, ooh, we got the ten of coins here. So it looks like money's available for you. Money's coming in. You also might, maybe with the ten, you might need money to start a new business. So you might be working on that. This might be money coming in for some of you might be retiring or you might um, be purchasing a house, a long-term investments. And then we have the high priestess. So with the high priestess, that's Virgo and Cancer energy. You're very intuitive at this time. There's also, you might be, you know, with the high priestess, keep quiet on something here. Don't tell everybody your business because, you know, it's better off. Less is more. Intuition's the key, and keep it to yourself. Okay, now we have the magician. You are manifesting here. Wow. Okay, it looks like you're on a roll here. You're manifesting. Um, and we also have the seven of coins. So if you're thinking, why not put more time, effort? To, definitely, because you're on a roll. Things are coming in for you. Looks like, um, for me, the magician is Aries and Aquarius energy. Let's get more into this. Why do we have the ten of coins here? 
I think invest in yourself, invest in your capabilities here. The hermit, yeah. Keep into yourself, going within. This is um, self-containment. This is doing research, time management. Do, yeah, do your due diligence and check into things. Um, what about this high priestess? Two of Pentacles, balancing things out. Trying to find out the best way to go about this. You are definitely manifesting, though, and you're very intuitive. Let's see here. And we have the Magician. We have the Five of Swords. Yeah, people don't like the fact that you are able to manifest. They might be trying to start some trouble here. Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's some people trying to trying to stop you from what you're doing. I think they're aware that you know how to do something, but they don't know what you're doing, though. And you've got to keep it that way. Do not let people know. This is... um. With this, this is like shady dealings, criminal behavior, you know, um, just suspicious activities too. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, and some, I, sometimes you could think the high priestess with the magician would be some kind of magic or black magic. I don't feel that. So I'm not saying it, but so just so someone does write a comment, <laughs> um, I don't feel that. I'm going with my intuition, and that's the way I work. So anyway, so the next one is, how can you be more financially successful? Ooh, Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have the Queen of Swords. you got a lot of people around you. And the page. Look at all these people. Wow. So it might be to be to get more involved with other people um and we have the seven of wands here okay, let me do this now for the knight of cups scorpio cancer pisces the knight of cups would represent um you know someone that's very creative someone that um leads with their heart and very persuasive and charming okay and then we have here you're getting good news about something here oh no i'm sorry this is not pegasus this is a horse so this is the chariot so move ahead, forward. And so what you can do to be more successful is pull out your charm. Go in quick here, too. Don't be afraid to push forward. Okay, now what about this um, Queen of Swords? Now with the Queen of Swords, that is someone that is, um, you know, maybe a little intimidating, hard to please, but, you know, straight shooter. And you want things to come out right. So I think you'll be in your power. Just, you know, keep keep being in your power. And then, okay, now we have the um, a dragon. So this is protection and wisdom. And of course, we do have the Queen of Swords, which is very wise. Now we have here the Page of Coins. This could be someone coming well to offer here with the Page of Coins. Strategic. This is strategic planning. Um, this is also maybe an apprentice or an internship. You might want to learn something new or, or maybe help on the side. You, even if you want to start on your own or... Um, work for someone else you might want to maybe on your, some spare time do a little internship or apprentice to try to learn but this is work communication and there's also a love here now the big heart here could be a love for what you do or a love coming in there could also be a love offer coming in for you guys from a taurus virgo capricorn okay so now why do we have the knight of cups here why is the knight of cups here The high priestess, wow, your intuition's on fire. So there might be something that, you know, this person comes in, keep this numb. I keep on feeling like, shh, oh, I feel like a lot lately that you have to keep quiet about things. Um, it's like less is more. Intuition is the key. Keeping things to yourself. Virgo, cancer, energy. Some secrets here. Okay, what about this queen of swords? The moon. Okay, yeah, see, definitely. So you have to keep things really on the download here. You're, de I think you're dealing with a lot of different people, buying out different things, maybe learning different things, and you have to not let anybody else know who you're working with or, or what you're doing here. Pisces energy with the moon. Keeping things secret. It's a mystery. Okay, and then this page of, ooh, this, something shocking is going to happen with this page of whatever they have offer you or maybe you're going to take this offer but you might shock others or this there's going to be a sudden change or a sudden shock here with the tower coming out so that would mean you know that's something that you're not expecting some kind of shocking news um but it's could be for with love here this person might come and offer you their love and you're not going to expect this they're going to come out of the blue here 
we do have yeah, lock up, back and forth communication. This is going to move quickly here, too. Once they let the cat out of the bag, I think you're going to hear from them constantly. They'll be probably, you know, buzzing up your phone here. You know, it's going to be back and forth with texts and, and emails and, and you know, it's, yeah, so back up, there's a lot of communication coming in here. All right, so now let's see. Um, where or what do you need to improve? Okay, you're going to move away from something here. It's time to move on. I think something's played out, something's done, or something is, this is going to be a stress reduction if you move on from something here. So that would be in your favor to make a move here. Um, this is change in position, maybe. It also could be that you're taking a vacation or a holiday, taking some time off, taking a break, or moving away from someone, or someone could be moving away from you. I'm moving away from you. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Moving away to come to you. <laughs> maybe they are moving away from you. And if they do move away from you, that might be a stress reduction for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then we have... The three of cups, you're going to be celebrating whatever this is that you move away from or someone moves away from or whoever does. Or if you go on vacation, of course, you'll be celebrating. Then with the three of cups, in as far as a career in business, this could be business meeting, networking, uh, work collaboration, um, work functions. You know, maybe you have to travel for some kind of business meeting and it's going to be fun. Okay, let's see. And we have the eight of swords. Okay, but now we have... Someone feels in a mental prison here. This is not, this is of your own doing. This is something you get get out of. You're not really stuck here. This is feeling restricted and feeling like blocked, but you're not. Okay, now we have here the Empress. You're coming to Empress energy. Awesome. This is um, Taurus, Libra energy. This is financial abundance. With this card here, this is um, feminine authority. This is fertile investments. Um, prosperity abundance very lucrative outcome here so your finances look good looks like things are coming towards you coming um yeah i was this is one of the most abundant cards in the deck so this looks really good and this is also about giving birth to something that you could find out about pregnancy or giving birth to a new job a new business a new career anything you know what about this six of swords we have here the two of wands making a decision here. So with the two of wands, this is also it could be a business partnership coming together. You're on the same page. You have the fusion of ideas. You're moving towards something that is going to be much better. Okay, and also two are always decisions. So why do we have three of cups here? Ten of cups. Okay, yeah, you're coming into a lot of happiness here. I love this. This could also be maybe you're starting a family business or joining the family business. Um, it's like happy home life. This is domestic security here. What about this Eight of Swords? Why do we have the Eight of Swords here? The Hierophant. Okay, this could be a commitment here. The Hierophant is, the Five is always changes, and Hierophant is Taurus energy. This is values and integrity. This is vocational training, financial advisors, um, maybe someone's stuck in their head about a commitment here or not knowing what to do as far as their financial be going to a financial advisor because you're not sure what to do we do have the five of cups in the bottom deck someone is you know crying over the spill cups the three spill cups but there's two cups still there so um this is setbacks maybe um you know feeling left out somehow with like something down this could be a downsizing of a company even um, but there's two cups here, so don't dwell on the past. Just move forward. Okay, now, let's see what else we have here. What or whom is an obstacle you need to overcome? Let's see what that is. Ace of Cups. Okay, there might be a, a love offer or something coming in with a lot of love, a lot of emotions. You're, this is a peak experience of emotion, though, so... This is like feeling revitalized. It's a lucky break. It's um, maybe a very fulfilling position coming in. So we'll have to wait until... I, when I first started out with these cards, they don't make any sense. They seem like they're they're beneficial, not, you know, an obstacle. But let's see. Let's put them all down, then we'll figure it out. Okay, what else do we have here? The two of cups. Ace of cups, two of cups. You might have a choice in love. I mean, this is a partnership coming together. This could be a work balance, a union of assets, um, beneficial connection here. 
And then we have the Five of Cups again. Five of Cups here twice. Someone is really crying over a loss here. So maybe you're trying to come together with someone and someone's holding you back or someone's coming back in or there's something here. We do have the ending that was very painful. So I think someone, the obstacle you might have to overcome is thinking about the past of a connection that you lost or someone trying to come back in. Let's see here. Why do we have the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Temperance. Okay. So this is trying to balance things out. Maybe that's hard for you right now as an obstacle, trying to keep a balance. Maybe you're, you're constantly thinking about this loss. This is Sagittarius energy. This is cooperation. This is... um. This is a very relaxed atmosphere when this comes up, though. This is, And this is saying patience is the key. So maybe the, you need to have patience, and you're having a hard time having patience with something here. Okay, why do we have the Two of Cups here? The Devil. Okay, here we go. So there's something that someone is obsessing over. Someone could be um, heavy drinking or um, drugs, some kind of addiction. But I think someone's obsessing over this connection. I mean, we do have two wine glasses here. We do have broken glasses. So it could be heavy drinking, too. Um, Devil energy could be dealing with another cat. This is also ca your energy, Capricorn. Um, might be you obsessing or someone's obsessing, but you could be dealing with another Capricorn, too. What about the Five of Cups? Oh, yeah, the ending. See, again, Ten of Swords. There is someone really upset about an ending here probably wanting to come back together and maybe that is an obstacle that you're trying to deal with whether you know you want this person to come back in or maybe you're the person that wants to come back together but this is uh preoccupying your your mind and you're trying to focus on your building your career building your finances your pinnacles here and this might be you know causing a little havoc for you at this time we do have the page of cups yes someone wants to come in with a love offer or apology scorpio cancer pisces energy Okay, so now, let's see. What is coming in for you guys in the near future? Five of Swords. Okay, so it seems like someone wants to start trouble here. That's the energy I got. That someone maybe is jealous of what's going on in your life. I feel like when I look at these cards, you are guys are doing great financially, great in your business. There's someone wanting to come back. Maybe this is this person that is causing a little havoc trying to come back. But I also feel there's jealousy around what you're able to accomplish as far as your work. I feel like co-workers or, or a competition here in the work atmosphere is what I'm feeling strong about this. Okay, so, but this is also, you know, like too much, um, too much bullying behavior or, or there's like someone that really likes to try to stir up trouble is what I'm feeling. It feels like they're stirring the pot. They're stirring up trouble. It's like, how can I cause havoc? And that's just what this person likes to do. They like drama. You know, they're very immature. Let's see what else we have here. Ah, but th Okay, but your wish or dreams or hopes are coming true here. Nine of Cups. This is hitting the jackpot. This is a dream job. Um, you know, p personal fulfillment. Even though this someone's trying to cause havoc i don't think it's going to do anything you do have the fives here there are a lot of changes coming in for you guys okay let's see what else we have here we have the two of swords okay with the two of swords you might be deadlocked on trying to make a decision or negotiations um you might be caught in the middle of something maybe even here but this is you're not gonna make a decision at this time because you're not sure what to do and we do have the King of Cups at the bottom here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces could also be dealing with. Someone has a lot of love for you. The, the King of Cups is also, since it is a career in finance, it's a counselor. It could be also someone that you, someone admires their um, abilities here. And um, also loving what you do with this King of Cups here. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? Nine of Wands. Okay. 
So you're protecting yourself. You're defending yourself. You're protecting your assets here with this nine of wands. It's like um, this person's not going to get away who, or these people. This is you're going to persevere. You're, you're it's an ongoing battle, but you're protecting yourself. It's like these I almost feel like this energy doesn't go away no matter what you do. They just like to stir up the stir the pot, stir trouble. Okay, what about the nine of cups? Seven of cups. Okay, so now you have many options coming in for you. Uh, there might be a lot of offers coming in business offers could be love offers too but it's confusion for you um with these all these offers it's um too many options it's imaginable ideas coming in too maybe you're thinking a lot about different things you're i almost feel like you might be in too many directions thinking about too many things you want to do i i think there's like all these ideas are popping in your head like you're very creative this time and it's um so it's it's making it a little nuts here but it is you know making you happy at the same time but it does bring to some confusion maybe that's why you're in this two of swords mode because you can't decide because there's too many options so you're stuck okay so now let's see why do we have the two of swords here page of wands okay someone's coming in with an offer here with the page of wands this is a, um, maybe a new position, and you, ha you don't know if you want to take it. It'd be um, maybe very creative projects, but it will also be a breath of fresh air. So now this person can be contacting you um, either by text, email, phone call, or even a letter. You might even get a, a formal um, letter coming in for some of you. We do have the Knight of Cups here, too. So this is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You know, the, the Knight of Cups is very creative very charming and persuasive and you know thinks with their heart they you know they really um put a lot of love and effort into something here and this person could be interesting well, let me get a charm on this page of wands we have oh we have the two swans i can't tell if this is a mother and a, a baby or if it's yeah, I think it is. It might be a motherly love. Maybe you feel some um, this person coming in. And you feel like they're almost like your child, or um, this also could be could be. I don't know. If, you know, I think they should be more the same size if they were male and female. Too much of size difference. But yeah, there could be there could be an age difference maybe. Someone could be coming towards you, too, and there's an age difference. They're younger than you. They have love for you. Okay, but it's a very deep um, connection, whether it's a child and a mother or, you know, father and child or or whether it's, um, you know, a love connection. It feels like there's a very deep bond here. Okay, now we have, going back to this one, okay. So we have here the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups. Okay, let's go on to what or whom is helping you okay we have the seven of wands here so i think you're able to hold your own so that's helping you you're very strong you per persevere here you push through you're it's like um you're defending yourself and you are standing above the rest you are you know you're able to handle yourself you're able to um, beat the odds here. And that's why I think people are having a hard time with you because you are very good at doing that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see? Competition, the battle here. This is like a very stiff competition. This is um, dramas and challenges. I think people just like to start trouble. You could be in a workplace where these people just like drama. Okay, and, um, and you know, you're not dealing with that. And you are, do not back down. I think, I almost feel like this atmosphere, this energy I'm feeling from this connection, this workplace, is they're used to being bullies, pushing people around, and they back off. You're not backing off. And that is getting them mad. <laughs> Let's see what else we have here. That's just, I, I read very intuitively, so that's what I'm picking up. So let's see, it's not for everyone, but let's see what we have here. Okay, yeah, this is how been. Look at all these wands. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. And this is conflict here. There's like, this is too much. It feels like you have to work much harder to get where anybody else is trying to get, but you will not back down. 
And um, you also might be a workaholic too. So that's why you won't stop either. But this is time to delegate or to, you feel like you might be exhausted. And I think you're more exhausted from fighting this stupid, unnecessary um, trouble these people are starting. And you're holding to your, you're keeping to your own. You have to keep to your own here. Um, don't talk to these people. I, it almost feels like you have to sort of like not even socialize with some of these people. I hate to do that in this reading, but I'm telling you what I feel here and what I get. So let's see. So. So what's helping you is the fact that you are able to persevere here, no matter what these people try. So let's see. Um, let's clarify this. Seven of Wands. Ooh, Seven of Wands. Yep. You're not giving up. You're, you're climbing the mountain. <laughs> okay, what about this Five of Wands? Okay, and death. So there's going to be an ending to this battle, to this competition where you're leaving. You might be leaving this, this company, this situation. Scorpio Energy. Ending, new beginning, transformation. Definitely coming in for you. Now, what about this um, Ten of Wands? The world. Yeah, you're definitely, look at this. You're definitely completing a cycle. You're, you're done with this. This is ended. This is like the final destination here with this company here or whatever it is. This is a conclusion is reached. And so this is, by ending this, you're able to start something new. So you're going in a whole new direction. Especially having the death card with the world card, you are definitely done. And we also have a ten of wands, so that's finished too. So, and then we have the, the five of pentacles. Now, they might feel like you left them out in the cold because you're leaving here. But you have to do what you have to do. And, you know, I really crack up because i seen this you know, where I worked before too, it's like people can be really nasty, mean and everything else. And then when you turn around and give them some taste in their own medicine, it's like, what? Why? Ah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> and you don't want to be that way, but you have to just walk away. So that's what you're going to do. Walk away is going to be giving them taste of their medicine because now they're going to have to do the work they weren't doing. So yeah, so this is, um, I just I feel like you're just leaving this behind saying I'm not I'm not dealing with this anymore. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so your potential outcome now, guys. What is your potential outcome? Ooh, we have the lovers. Okay, a choice coming together. Gemini energy. Okay. What else do we have? Okay, working together, definitely a good union here, a good partnership with the lover's card. You know, that is a common goal, um, facing a decision and a beneficial partnership. And then we have the three of pentacles, which is, is even confirming this even more, teamwork. Um, this is also could represent like presentation, co uh, collaboration, but I feel like you are working very well here with someone. It could be a, a love connection too. Let's see, we have... Oof. you're getting your you see you're working well with others or this could be a partner almost feels like there's a love partnership coming in that is helping you to like have the um, support you need to do something on your own i feel like that's what you're doing your and when you do work even if you work in a team whenever i see this card i feel like you're honing your own spot so like you might be on a team but you have a certain thing that you have to do that you specialize that you are the best at and it's um it's gonna pay off here and then we have here see this is containing things this is the hermit virgo energy this is doing stuff on your own i'm going deep within and find your answer this is the healer this is the teacher this is the student this is um finding your light finding your way okay let's clarify here why do we have the lovers here why do we have the lovers here the magician, yes, here's the magician. I love it. So this is Aries Aquarius energy. You're manifesting this connection, this really deep connection here. So whatever you think about, you bring about. So make sure you stay positive because because that's what you're going to bring in, the positive energy here. Um, you have all the tools you need. So what about this um, three of pentacles, three of coins? Three of Swords. 
Okay, you could also be working on a team to try to heal something here. They're, you know, you're probably working through this third party, which I think was these people trying to sabotage you. Um, that I'm getting, you're working through this. It's, you know, you know, that might be like, you have to cut yourself loose here. You know, it's, um, and just heal from this. Because it's not going to go away overnight, but you'll get it. What about the nine of coins, nine of pentacles? Three of cups. Wow. So we have the three of coins, the three of swords, and the three of cups. And oh, and the empress is in here. We had the empress before, right? Okay. Yeah, this is, you're celebrating your independence. You might be starting your own business. And there's also could be like teamwork here with this. Um, This could be representing the three of cups could be bonuses, networking, work celebration it could be that why do i feel like you want to start your own network here it feels like you really are in charge here it's like you have a lot of control and you're going to be celebrating something big here yeah you, there's a lot of happiness coming here there is a celebration coming in okay bottom deck we have the knight of pentacles okay so now with the knight of pentacles this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn, so this could be you. But this is someone that is very steady, secure, reliable. Um, someone you could depend on here. It's also um, dedicated, hardworking, a valuable asset here. And even if, like, okay, you are the Capricorn here, but you would have this behind you. It's someone's trying to sway you, tempt you, try to get you to... Um, I almost feel like this energy around this company or whatever this is you're working is they're always trying to get someone into their, you know, like make you fall so they have something on you. That's what I feel like they're doing. You don't do that. You don't, you won't fall. So they need to have something on you. They don't have anything on you. Okay, let me get a charm on this Knight of Pentacles. We have an arrow of love. Okay, someone could come towards you with... A love offer here too okay so let's see what's going on here let's try to get all these people do i have any? i don't think i have anybody over here so i can put this aside okay so the first one is the page of swords i'm gonna make better markers for here so i can find these charms that'll be my next project so let's see here we have likely okay tick tock running out of time Someone feels they're running out of time. Likely single. Okay. You might be single at this time and someone's coming in. Or they might think that you're available to pursue for a job. They're going to single you out. Let's see. What about this Queen of Wands here? We have the X. Sharing. Before. Something about the X. Sharing before. Maybe for the X you're sharing. I don't know what that is. It, you know, it might make sense to you, it might not. I'm not going to be, um, I don't want to spend too much time on that because these readings are long as it is. The Queen of Wands, let's see. We have Mature, Omitted, Mess. Okay, it's, someone's going to get a message to you. They're admitting something. They're maturing up, I think, and they're going to admit something because they're now they're more mature. Okay, now what about this King of Wands? We definitely have a lot of um, chemistry between you two here. Let's see. We have thoughts, jealousy, expect. Okay. Expect this person to probably say they have jealousy. I mean, do you have the Ace of Cups here too? And maybe that's it. Maybe someone is saying now they mature, but they did have thoughts of jealousy in the past. So maybe that's what the message is going to talk about. Okay. Let's see here. Make sure I don't skip anybody. That's a magician, yeah. Okay. Okay, now we have, this is the Knight of Cups. What's going on with this Knight of Cups? Immature. We got mature, we got immature, mystery, okay, immature, mystery, serious, change. 
Okay, so there's some kind of, it's almost immature, but now it's a mystery, but they're, they're somehow they seriously changed. Could that be right? Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm going to put it that way. Again, play with these as you, you know, take a screenshot and then just when we're finished and see what they, how you can rearrange these. What about the Queen of Swords here? We have finish denying love committed. Okay, someone might be finished denying that they love you and they want a commitment. Or they want to be in a commitment. What about this this page of coins? Phone call? Expect a phone call. Uh, they're obsessed. See, this is where we have the tower. This is going to shock you when they call you and probably how they act because they're obsessed with connecting with you. Okay, then we have Okay, our next one is No people. Okay, we got the Next one here is a page of wands. Sincere forget intruder so there is confusion here you have the two swords here right so someone is going to be sincere and they're going to tell you to forget someone that intruded maybe they're saying they didn't mean it i don't know what that means but okay so our next one is this knight of pentacles the last one okay let's see what's going on with this knight of pentacles we have here love Oop. So, love, career, return. So there might be someone that maybe is returning that you probably met through your career. That's why it really feels like someone that you met during your career is going to come back and they might express their love for you. Maybe they didn't express it before. It almost feels new to me. It feels different. It feels like, yeah, they might be expressing love that you not, you, you're not probably going to expect this. But you got the arrow with the heart here. So someone's returning. Something about maybe career took them away or returned from career. Or maybe you're even returned to a career that you loved before. Take that however it resonates with you because it's going to be different things for everybody. Okay, I think I got everybody, right? Last reading, I, I thought I had a queen of wands and then I said, oh, I didn't. And then later I found out I did because there's too many cards. So as I say, I'm going to make this a little better so I have markers so I can see better. Okay, I don't want to waste anybody's time. I try to go as quick as I can, get all the information down. Okay, so now let's see um, what signs we have for you guys. What are the signs? We have Leo, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio. Libra and Virgo again. Okay, so this could be placements in your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, and future. This could be people you worked with before, people you're presently working with, people you're working with in the future. And as you can tell with this reading too, I think some love creeped in here too. So also could be more romantic or friendships or, you know, anybody could be coming in here. So we have here Leo, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, Libra, and Virgo again. Now for the letters 11 letters for initials we'll have initials for first name last name if you get both the first and last name and someone has a middle name and you know that middle name you get that initial also all the better past present and future and also your own initials let's see what we have here we have q z y f r H, Y, F, H, L, S. Okay, so letters we have for you today are, <coughs> I'm sorry, doing a lot of these readings and they're long and they're starting to get to my throat here. 
Q-C-Y-F-R-H-Y-F-H-L-S. Okay, now for the names. Now, oops, someone came flying out already. Who is this? Lauren. Okay, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here, please? <coughs> I'm so sorry. I take a sip of water. I don't think I could have made it to the end when I want to. Okay. So now we have. <coughs> we have Tammy. T A M I. Anthea, A N T H E A. Lori, L O R I. Hiram, H I R A M. Sean, spelled S H A W N M. S H A W N. Okay. Taryn, T A R R Y N. Susan. Rahul, R A H U L. Magdalene, M-A-G-D-A-L-E-N-E. -E. Tasha, T-A-S-H-A. -A. Anahira, A-N-A-H-E-R-A. -A. And then we have Takumi, T-A-K-U-M-I. Okay, six. Okay, we have 13. Okay, so those are names. Now remember, guys, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. Um, if it doesn't resonate, check out your other placements in your chart. Maybe something else might resonate more at this time. And even if it does resonate, if you want to check out your other placement, you'll get even more in depth, more a clearer picture of what's really going on when you put all the different placements together. Okay, guys, I love you so much, and I really appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.